Mystery of the Ghost Bride. Spooky image of a young woman in a white veil appears in snapshot taken of grandfather in hospital, which used to be an asylum. When Chris Ledbetter took a photo of his grandfather in hospital, he hoped it would be an image he could treasure after the pensioner was told his bladder cancer was terminal. However, when Mr. Ledbetter examined the picture, he noticed there was a chilling figure of a woman behind his grandfather, Bob Large. Stunned, he showed staff at the Countess of Chester Hospital the photograph, who went on to describe the long-haired blonde girl whom they claim a lot of patients see lurking at the end of their beds. And the ghostly figure may have had an impact of Mr. Large, as he has since been released from hospital and sleeping better than before despite the previous diagnosis. This is from Mail Online, so it's obviously written very poorly. And there's the picture. What do you think? Mr. Ledbetter had gone to visit his grandfather at the hospital in Chester, which is on the site of the former County Lunatic Asylum, built in 1829. The pensioner had been told his bladder cancer and kidney failure was terminal. Mr. Ledbetter arrived to find the local vicar at his grandfather's bedside praying for his recovery and decided to take the last picture on his mobile phone. But it was not until he got home a week later and examined it that he saw a specter-like figure of a woman dressed in a veil lurking in the back of the picture. The twenty-year-old said, when I saw it, the hairs just stood up on me. I was so freaked out. I saw the picture late at night, so I went and woke up the rest of the family straight away. Everyone in the family was shocked. They couldn't believe it. My granddad is still alive now. He has actually been released from hospital, despite what the doctors said. He finds the picture quite comforting, thinks that someone is looking over him. When he asked the manager of Ward 44 where his grandfather was a patient about the image, she said, Oh, her. Lots of patients see her at the end of their beds. The manager, unprompted, then went on to describe the long-haired blonde girl in a white gown. He said, it's not the first time the ghost has been seen. One patient was screaming in the night because it was at the end of her bed. Mr. Large said, the picture is of my guardian angel. I've been in that hospital on the same ward so many times. The vicar always comes in and says prayers and then goes, and I always feel much better. Every time I feel like there is a presence in the room. I've just got a feeling that whoever it is is watching over me. This is the first time I've actually seen her, but I've always had the feeling she's been there a while. It's the strangest thing. I can't explain it. I'll be lying there feeling very ill, and then I'll get the feeling of the presence. Then I'll suddenly feel much better, and I can sit up. The face looks very familiar to me, but I don't think it's anyone I know. I think I just recognize the presence. That's pretty cool. Very clear picture. I don't know. She's obviously well known around the hospital. <laughs> You know, a lot of patients see her, and the, the staff there is well aware of that ghost, whatever you want to call it. So very cool if that's real. That's one of the best photographic evidence I've seen of, uh, call them ghosts.